just Craig Lachichiro from the band Forbidden and other great acts. Well, you just pronounce Spiral it like arm, Lachichiro. You, you just pronounce it just the way they do in Italy, Lachichiro. Yeah, that's no right. one pronounces it like that here. It's Lachichiro here, but that's good. But is it wrong? No, it's not wrong. Okay, Lachichiro. Lachichiro. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to throw you off. That's okay. Well, I'm not easily thrown off. <laughs> Craig, the guitar you play, the one you love the most, which is that? Well. Through the years, of course, this changes. Like most of these guys will tell you, this changes as you go along. But uh, about four years ago, uh, I had a custom guitar made. Dean makes me custom guitars. The USA shop, the American Dean shop, uh, makes me something. Uh, it's like a Les Paul. It's called a Thoroughbred, except I have them made extremely heavy with the heaviest mahogany possible uh, for resonating wood, and it's it's a uh, red, like sparkle top and white binding, uh, very like motorboat, like big flake. Like the paint job alone, it's like runs you almost a thousand dollars just to have the paint put on this. That has been my favorite guitar because I made it. Why do you it, like them so heavy? Well, I mean, uh, what is it? What is Nigel's sustain? Okay. You can hear it right now. <laughs> you know. What's yeah. the weight on it? Thirteen pounds. Yeah, it's heavy. Actually. That red one is 12-2, and I have, a, a, they may be later, it's my 49er color guitar. Yeah. It's big, red with all gold Bay Area armor. fan. And by yeah, the way, Bay your Area team guy. is awesome. It's gonna well, be great. Yeah, they're gonna be good. Yeah. Well, as, as long as Garoppolo's standing upright. You got Jimmy. This is the Jimmy Garoppolo of guitars, <laughs> let me tell you. It makes everything better as soon as it arrives. <laughs> and uh, it's just kind of what he does. But uh, yeah, so it's got the gold hardware on that one. And then I have another one they made me, which I really like a lot too. Uh, similar, except it has an ebony fretboard and it's a little brighter. Because if, if you talk to these guys, ebony's really bright. Um, maple's really bright. Most guys like to use uh, rosewood on their, on their board itself. So my red one has rosewood, it's darker. This other orange one, Giants, same sparkle paint, but it's orange and black for the San Francisco Giants. I know. I I don't apologize. Do you remember I, your first guitar? Was that your first guitar? My first guitar. Yes, I do. And it was man, it was a uh, Ibanez Blazer that had no paint. It was just like wood finish. Because when I was when I wanted to buy my first guitar, I wanted to start with a clean slate, and I didn't want anything to look too metal or too rock. To anything, it was like 1980. It was it was October of 1983. That's when Do I you bought still my first it? guitar. My friend has it, and he went and cut into it and added another pick. It only had one pickup on it, and he went and cut into it and added another pickup. I mean, I loved it. He thought it was a good idea at the time. I'm like, man, because it was a nice piece of wood. He looked at it like, well, it's like a you know, it's like a piece of clay. I could do anything with it because it's just one piece of wood with one pickup. So it's been kind of butchered a little bit, but uh, I know where it's at. I can locate it. All right. If, if I ever want to put it back it's together. It's always nice to photograph your first guitar. Yes. And your number one current guitar. Yeah, I, I mean, I could get it, but I wish it looked like it did. It was like just an old Ibanez Blazer. Even back then, I was looking for like something balanced that wouldn't make me lean too, too hard towards metal or too hard towards anything. I never played guitar until then. I just my, you know, I, I, my family was very unmusical. I was the only, mu I mean, I'm literally the only musician in my family really that's done anything where I've tried to do something. How about your music. son? Does he? Does he, he plays. Does he play? Well, he's the second generation coming up. Right. He plays drums, and but he has access to a couple guitars just around the house, you know. So, but he likes. So you've drums. changed the lineage of the family. You're turning the family into a lineage of musicians now. Well, I'm so I'm I'm the black sheep. I, I was adopted, so they don't know where all this came from. <laughs> no, no one knows where this came from. They, they, yeah, my, my family was very uh very book smart. Uh, my dad was a history professor and, and doctorate at UNLV, and my mom was like, you know, president of the League of Women Voters in the '70s in Nevada. So like, yeah. where the hell did this come from? You know, so they, they, they didn't know what to do with it. I, well, some somewhere in my lineage where I have no idea. So tell us one last question. 
how you may have been influenced by Bo Diddley because his number one guitar, the Bad Dude, okay. sitting right behind you. That's the Bad Dude. Jesus. That's Bo Diddley's Holy Bad Dude. Smokes. <laughs> is this thing like, is it hollow? I think it is hollow. Yeah. It, pick it up. It's it's. it's can I? Can I pick it up here? You like a heavy guitar. You like a heavy that guitar. One's, that's that a, one's got some pounds. That's heavy. Whoa. That, what does he put in here? This is leaded? A lot Holy of trade smoke. secrets. I mean, Bo was ahead of his time. The and he is so low. Oh, my God. Hey, Bo Diddley. Yeah, he's got, hey, I like Bo the fact Diddley. that the frets are big and the action's low and it's heavy as a brick. This is so How is he? Bo Diddley. That's the original. That's, That's my Bo wife Diddley's over there. That's it. Bo Bo Diddley. That's oh it. My God. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Thanks, Greg. Hey, thank awesome. you.